This video is made possible by Battleaxe. Hey, it's Jake, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you about one of the lesser known features of After Effects that I think really helps speed up your workflow and work a lot smarter in After Effects. To teach you this technique, I'm gonna be using this illustration as an example. Now, this animation and this entire project is actually from my latest Skillshare class, which is called Expressions, Working Smarter in After Effects. And in that class, I teach you how to animate this entire project with just four keyframes. Everything is being driven by expressions and controlled by this one slider value. It's very customizable. I can go in and completely randomize the animation. I can control minimum and maximum position heights. It's all very customized and flexible to make this kind of animation with so many different layers much easier to manage. So if you want to learn more about expressions, maybe you've been afraid to jump in, this is the class for you. Definitely go check it out with the card above. You can even get a free month trial to Skillshare Premium. Check out all of my classes. I have over 30 of them up there. It's an entire library of After Effects training. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Now, to get on with this tutorial, I want to show you one way of making animation much easier to manage. And if you're interested in following along with me, I'm gonna make this project file with the artwork already set up and ready to go, available for download. Just check the link in the description. It's not gonna be all rigged up with this animation. You're gonna to have to check out my Skillshare class for that, but you can at least have the artwork to follow along with me. Let's say I wanted to add some effects to all of these layers to give them a style, maybe a boil effect, that's a good example. Well, it'd be difficult if I wanted to actually apply that to every single one of these layers because I'd have to grab one of them, let's say this sauce right here. I would start by adding a turbulent displace, so I'll add that effect and I'll turn the size way down so we have a very tight texture there. Maybe the amount could be dialed back just a little bit. And if I wanted it to animate, I'd probably go down into the evolution options, add an expression on a random seed and just type out random 10,000. So it generates a random number on every frame of the animation. So now that's going to dance around on that edge, give me that boiled edge look that I wanted. But if I wanted to copy that to everything else, I would have to copy and then paste it on each of these layers. And there's about 15 of them here. So now the effect is on every single one of these layers, but what if I wanted to go in and change the size of that turbulent displace? Well, I can't just go to one of the layers, zoom in here and make my adjustments because that's only gonna affect that one layer. So that's a lot of back and forth of copying and pasting effects just to be able to modify a look across multiple layers. Instead of that, we're going to make a smarter system. So let me back up, undo until the effects are gone. We just have the one on the sauce bowl right here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is first rename this effect boil one. And if I zoom out here to see my whole comp, I have this null object over to the side. Null objects don't render, they're just there for points of control. Now, this is how I've animated my entire rig, using a lot of controls, all added to this null object, and then through expressions, everything is tied to those controllers. I'm gonna do something very similar, but without the need for any actual expression writing. So what I'm gonna do is grab that boil one and copy it. Paste it on the global control null. Now, you'll actually notice that I had boil one and two already on this null. I'm gonna get rid of those and let's get rid of boil three and just paste one more time. So we have boil one. This is the exact same instance as what we have down on the sauce bowl, but it doesn't do anything because a null object doesn't render. It's just there to hold values. And now that I have it on my null object, I can go up to the edit menu and come down to copy with property links. This is the one feature that I feel like a lot of people don't know about, but could really speed up your workflows in After Effects. So if I say copy with property links, what happens is it copies just like normal, but it also grabs all of the keyframeable properties within whatever you selected and links them up with expressions to whatever you paste them to. So if I come back down to my sauce bowl and paste, it's going to replace that boil turbulent displace instance that I already had, but you'll notice now all of the numbers, all of these values are red meaning they're all tied via expressions to something. So if I go into one of these properties, like the amount, we can take a look and see, it's looking at the comp sushi, this, that's the comp we're in, the layer global controls, which is my null object, and then the effect boil one and the property amount. So it's directly linked all of these properties up to that one null object. So if I zoom in on that bowl one more time, 
and now I look at the global controls where my boil effect is, I can increase the size there, the instance of turbulent displace on my sauce layer. And I can update any of these values and it will always change whatever is on that instance of turbulent displace. Now that it's linked up, I can actually copy that effect, the one that has property links already enabled, and just paste it on all of my other layers that I want to have that same boiled edge. Now that turbulent displace is applied to all of my layers, but it's being driven by this one set of controls on my global controls null. So I can increase that amount a whole lot to get that really gritty textured edge, or maybe dial it back a little bit. Now let's say I wanted to add even a second layer of the boil effect to make it a little bit larger and just more interesting to look at. Let's duplicate boil one. It automatically goes to boil two. This is on the global controls null. Then I'll just select that, go up to edit, copy with property links, and then paste it on the first layer, this wasabi. And I wanna point out something. If I press E to bring up the effects, boil one is gone because it saw that there was already a turbulent displace effect applied and it just replaced it. So let me undo that. First duplicate boil one and then paste. With it selected, it will now link up to the correct instance and will preserve the original one. So with this second instance, I could turn up the size and maybe turn down the amount and now I have two layers of this boil effect. Let me just solo that wasabi layer for a second and show you the difference between the two. So boil two is this larger wiggle and probably could turn that up even a little bit further. And then the boil one is the more textured edge look. Okay, so we've got both of those combined and now I can copy both boil one and two to all of my other layers. And this is what that looks like. My boil is applied to every single layer in my comp and it's all controllable from that one single point where I can just modify away and have everything update all at once. But what's great about Copy with Property Links is that you can use it for more than just effects. Anything that has a keyframe or anything you can write an expression on will be a controllable with that Copy with Property Links. So let's say I also wanted to add a stroke to everything and kind of make these look like stickers. With that Wasabi selected, I'll go up to Layer, down to Layer Styles, and down to Stroke. This will add that stroke, which is by default this ugly red color. I'm just gonna make it white and then maybe increase the size to say six. Now if I copy that stroke over to my global controls, even though the null object doesn't render layer styles, it still supports them. So if I bring those up, there's the stroke. With it selected, I'll go up to Edit, Copy with Property Links, and then paste that across all of my other layers. Now I have a stroke applied and from that one global controls null, I can change the size of the stroke. Maybe I want it to be thinner now or I wanna change that color to be something different. It's all manageable from that one point. So that's the power of copy with property links. Now, there is one important thing to take note of. If I go back to the edit menu, we have copy with property links and copy with relative property links. So if we go back into the Wasabi and take a look at that boil, any one of these properties, remember it started off by saying comp sushi. That means this specific comp. So this expression is looking specifically for this comp and then the layer, the effect, and the actual property. But let's say that I wanted to duplicate this comp and make a second version of it. So we have sushi two. If I go into this, that expression is still going to be looking for sushi, not sushi two. And that's the difference between copy with property links and copy with relative property links. So if I go back to the global controls null, press E to bring up the effects and copy these two boils with relative property links this time and then paste it on the wasabi, then those expressions are now going to be relative to whatever comp they're in. So now the expression reads this comp instead of the specific comp that the copy with property links was first run in. But I'm just gonna jump back to my other sushi comp. This is exactly what I want it to look like. So I'm going to export it using my favorite technique, which is Anubis, an extension from Battleaxe that allows you to export an MP4 out of After Effects. No in-between steps necessary. I have it set up to give me a high quality MP4 set on the desktop. I'll just click the button to actually export this and compress it straight to an MP4. I don't have to jump to any programs. You see how quick it is. And just like that, I have an MP4 sent to my desktop. I can open that up and preview it. It's a high High quality MP4, I have an entire video dedicated to Anubis. If you're interested in it, check out the card above. I use it absolutely all the time and almost never have to open up Media Encoder while working in After Effects.
But that's how you use Copy with Property Links in After Effects. Like I said, I use it all the time in my own workflow. It saves a ton of time and it makes working in After Effects a lot simpler. If you'd like to support more tutorials like this one, then definitely check out my Patreon. You can click the card above to see that. Thank you so much to all of the patrons who are contributing and supporting tutorials. I truly appreciate all the support that you give and I hope that you're getting a lot out of my training. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Ed, 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 Ed,